he's gone now. <laughs> he's gone. It's 22 minutes past eight. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Um, maths teacher and presenter. My maths teacher. Your maths teacher, yes. Yes, A former maths student. teacher. Brilliant student. I tried hard. I'm, I'm, I am very trying. Indeed. That's what matters the most, the attitude and mindset. And there you, you go. Work. Bobby Seagull is his name. Lovely gentleman. Thank you for coming in to look Pleasure. at the papers this morning. Um, was TikTok famous? So TikTok, not to be confused with the 2009 song by Kesha, TikTok, is actually... Well, I, that, <laughs> that wasn't in my mind either. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> it's a um, newish social media app with essentially short videos. So you remember Vine? People could do short yes, six-second yes, videos. Yes, 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 yes. So it's a, so almost like a revival of it, but it's a Chinese company that's made something called TikTok. And actually, it has one billion users, which is more than, I think, Snapchat and Twitter put together. So young people... I think Because it's in China. Yeah, so, but in, I think predominantly young people use it. So two-thirds of users are under the age of 30. And the way it works is uh, you put little videos of yourself and there are different things that trend. Actually, I was checking out this morning, and I, I've got, you know, I've downloaded the app. Mrs. Seagull's a cool teacher. And this morning, <laughs> the things that were trending were hashtag dramatic dance, dramatic dance, or hashtag self-care, so you think about yourself. Is there a duration? Are you, when they say they're short, uh, just six seconds? No, no, so this, you can do it as long as you want. Oh. But uh, it tends to be, again, short videos, 10 to 30 seconds are the ones that succeed. Oh. Are they of, are any of them dare I say, of consequence? Or is it just, is it, yeah, it my cat, uh, you know, yeah. et, uh, um, well, I don't know, I'm not <laughs> going to complete that sentence. Dramatic dance That's of the cat. My cat climbed up the, the curtains. Well, you know, but, is there a thing of consequence? But those things go viral. No, I'm not and saying they're the, not, you know, the people thing, love seeing it? that stuff, yeah. but is, 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 is that the nature of no, it? It's a good question, because again, when we think about YouTube in 2005, initially it was silly videos, people posting up little clips of themselves, but now YouTube's matured to being this like, sort of monolith that people have to get involved with. And TikTok, initially, there are people posting dramatic dance videos, but there are people in universities in America that are using it for fundraising or using it for raising awareness of issues. So again, we'll see how these apps morph from initially being silly sort of like Vine type videos to being something more serious and impactful. How is it, why is it different to say Instagram stories? Um, so so Instagram stories being short videos, you know, yeah. people put, put on that can be any length. Good anyway. question. So I think it's to do with the user base. So again, Instagram, my students in school, though they use it, they see it as, ah, oh, it's an older people app. And in the same way in which Facebook was an older, older person app. It's just something that the young people have currently for themselves. Do you know, I thought when <laughs> I got onto Instagram, I thought it, I was doing what the young people do. Yeah. But it's Let's an get into TikTok, all of us. Get the TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that one. Uh, this is very much on your territory. So the story about A levels. Tell us. Yes. So again, as a maths teacher, I would say it's Maths Week England next week. So happy Maths okay. Week England to you, Naga. Thank you. Um, and so, to you. And to Charlie. <laughs> yeah. And this is a maths T-shirt I've got. It's a, a mathematical object. Um, so next, um, the story here is about A levels, and there's a course called the Pre Us, uh, which is set up back in 2008, pre universities, and it was right. meant to be an alternative to A levels, a more challenging one. Uh, but the story here is that this is actually being scrapped. Why would you do it in the first place? Um, A levels challenging the, enough? I think when it was initially set up, some schools, independent schools perhaps, thought actually if we give our kids a more challenging exam, when they're applying to universities, the university will look at it sort of more favourably. Oh, okay. But uh, they're, they're too tough. Um, this I love. This is something I saw this morning. <laughs> I, right, you're, none of your kids at school <laughs> will know, will, will probably recognise it. In fact, there are some funny videos, in fact, of people showing, of adults showing kids these and they're not having a clue what they are. What is the evidence for this revival? What's, what are they saying? It's just selling a lot more. Yes, so I think in the last, this year, the BPI, sort of the Labour Association, predicting 100,000 sales of tapes have already sold 30 to 40,000. And we should remind young people watching, the tapes are, how can we describe what a tape is, a cassette is? Remember you're putting in a pencil, pencil in, to turn and the sprocket to, to turn it yeah. to rewind it. So it's got that physical tangibility. Getting really upset when um, it's split and try to fix it oh as well. Oh God, the pain. Yeah. Well, I would imagine that you, you could buy one, but no one has cassette players anymore. I mean, I do obviously, I but uh, a lot of people just wouldn't, wouldn't have them. They wouldn't, so actually this is sort of revived Partly because of Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014. Do you remember yes, their little yeah, the mixtape, awesome yeah. mixtape? Yeah. Um, but a lot of people who are buying it are buying it as sort of memorabilia and having something vintage rather than listening to it. So actually, it's almost got that sort of collector's item feel to it. Traditionally, they used to hiss a lot. Hiss, they do, and I think they'll probably still hiss a lot. Do you remember mm. you used to have really clunky buttons when you used oh. to record off the um, top 40, which I'm sure was illegal, but everyone <laughs> did it to make mixtapes. That's it right.
Yeah. Really clunky buttons. Uh, you're going to come back in an hour's time. Absolutely. For some more. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. I'm going to do a tease. If you want to know about fern tickles and spindle shanks, <laughs> tune in for the next newspaper review with Bobby. Thank you. Fern tickles. <laughs> there we go. Just leave that one. Uh, leave that one out there.